Okay, so we've gone back in. Looks like we're playing a normal person. 30 minute game. Get the practice in. This is the place where we can play good or bad chess. Just practicing what we're trying to put together. Ordinarily, come through on the center here, leaning onto this pawn. Probably the bishop is coming to attack the knight. But there's lots of probabilities and maybes in chess. Interesting. We'll grab this pawn straight away. <laughs> I don't know why I'm moving so fast, but I'm familiar with this pattern up to this point. All depends what the opponent does next, obviously. And capture the queen. Doesn't really want to disturb his king. We get the 20 pointer because he can't go on castle. But then he loses this pawn if his knight goes and takes the queen. So they usually plump for the king actually taking the queen. Because then at least they can move around. Start working the way a, a crown. You're sort of like castling by hand in a sense. Actually takes with the queen as we said. Yep. So, bishop ordinarily comes out here to attack this pawn. There's no arrows on this, so I don't know why I'm pressing the right button on the mouse. But black can turn out to be quite favourable from this type of opening movement. So, this is why I kind of change it up a little bit in order to focus on pressure on the king or the king area it's actually coming through so we'll double the pawns here going to bring the bishop through just maintaining pressure on the king and just taking the bishop off the board because like I said black can look quite favorable in this type of position so I'm actually going to castle king safety and this knight here has got a beautiful thing. I should have probably pushed this pawn up to stop this knight from jumping into this square. And so we are going to do that now. So it looks favorable for white on the face of it, but then when you sort of look at, uh, let's attack the pawn and look to come back down here so put a check on the king while we're doing that again focusing on putting pressure on the king area there's a different version different way of operating this system which I've seen from the evaluation and it it really lets black have a stronghold on the position it's really quite impressive actually so I'm going to bring the knight across here not going to swarm the king just yet we've done enough damage to the king as it is but he's going to go and castle by hand by bringing his king here and then linking his rooks up so he'll feel his king is fairly sick yes as we said yep so we're familiar with this type of situation so this is why we're plumping for it I'm okay with this pawn being here because the knight blocker at the minute isn't going to um, jump into place because we've got a pawn here so we can look to double up the rooks as far as I can see anyway and then the idea is to basically be attempting to attack this knight so that this knight is not supporting this knight if they're asleep they may they may see all this coming and he's coming for the rook anyway so we may as well go for the double So if we can get this knight away, we've also got this knight on this pawn and the rook on this. Um, but we've got to be careful of back rankers if his rook comes and gets involved. So if he pushes this pawn, that blocks our knight from jumping to this square. So we'd have to look to tantalize it. Oh, he's actually taken. So we'll grab. And he's instantly gone there. So he's not wanting us to get any traction at all. But if his knight moves there, then we do win this pawn. That's the only piece that can actually take. So we'll grab here. 
and then we can take this pawn. So it's a knight battle now. I'm always harping on that um, I, I favour the knights, I like knights, so this might be an opportunity to try and prove that to myself. Okay, he's confidently moved down with the pawn. His king is more active than my king. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to try and see if he wants to press or if he just wants to lock down. No, it's just um, let's just get this off the board. Too many knights spoil the broth and all that. <laughs> so knight can come here. So let's just block that action. This pawn can take pawn take da, 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 yeah. So it looks like we've got a pawn majority on this side. Can we make it work for us? Could move this pawn or get the king into action. He's getting his king supporting this pawn, so is he looking to come down? Yeah, do, do, do. Let's push this pawn here. I mean, we've got here dead quick. I mean, I'm only three minutes in, and they're only five minutes in. It's a 30 minute game. Okay, focus. He's wanting to win some type of tempo with this. Oh, I thought he was going to push down. If we pushed up, he takes which way, whichever way he takes. Should we move our king up? Could take this pawn. But then he's got linked pawns and we've got double pawns. Mm, it's very tasty taking that though, isn't it? We take... It's a free pawn. We take. Then his knight moves. So his king can come down for it. Our knight goes here, but then his king comes down. Or well, it can't come down because the knight is blocking its way. Hmm. I think that's the way, but. Hmm. Maybe we should just keep them like that. So, let's see if we push on this one. He can always push down. And then we push up, pushes down, pushes there. I'm going to push this pawn. He's taken the pawn. <laughs> so if we take here, is his knight going to take? Or not? Does he move away? Is there something that I've missed? If he takes, then we're sort of like locked these here a little bit. And he does take, so does his king get in the gap? No. Got the forks there with the two pawns. But if he presses up, he's gone for it. So if we go here, this is where I put this pawn. Just in case he dropped down. He does take, so I'll take here. Might be a draw, you know. Although it does look quite tasty with a pass pawn here. He can just come up and then block it off, can't he? So the, his king can't come down this gap here. So if we make an inroads with our king coming across, we might win the tempo because we're closer to this pawn. So he's going for it. He's going for defending his pawn. I think he will get there in time to defend it. If I get my king here, he goes up. And do we do that fancy... What is it? This, oh, I bet I've done it wrong, haven't I? So the only piece he can move is his king. So if I go here with this pawn... So his king's going to come across. So when he comes across, can I push this here? His king can't come directly to attack the pawn, so that probably gives me tempo to come back, does it? 
Hmm, yeah, something like that. Might work. King there. Push. King up. I take his pawn. I don't even need to do anything fancy. Yeah, that makes sense. So the thinking now. Um, they could push here. Got to be careful of this. He could push here. We take. And then that that's ramping home because we've got this pawn. So we push the pawn like we said here. We don't need to deliberate and capture there. Bring the king back, protect him. And we can start pushing this pawn up. In fact, I could I should have moved the king. Never mind. Just push that pawn. So he has to go there. So I can bring the king here. He wants to hide in the corner to try and get still. Oh, and we won. We win on a resignation. Very pleased with that as well. And that was just a matter of the end game with the knight. Um, where's the? Is there any back things? Okay. Oh, this might take a while. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like I say, with this sort of opening structure, I've changed it up a little bit in order to give myself a bit more advantage and ownership of the squares. So at this point here, we've got a pawn majority, which is crucial, and we're attacking a nice key pawn at the moment. And looking to strengthen up the attack on our strong side and we did have the option of taking the pawn but it would double our pawns and I think his king would have been stronger coming down and his knight would have been able to support and we would have lost any equalization on this a b and c file so it was nice that they actually took there so we didn't force them to take that they took that so that gave us the opportunity again they didn't have to take the knight here um, but they chose to do that which helped lock down the situation for us so then having that confidence with the pawn endings with this lovely past pawn that we've got well semi past at the minute but past now it's about understanding the rhythm of the game so it's almost like what do you call that zugzwang the opponent is like whatever move they make they ain't going to be in a bad situation and yeah there I should have pushed my king up rather than push the pawn but in any event um, the tempo and everything was on our side on this occasion